I never meant for this tragedy to occur. Right now at five, the man convicted of stabbing a teenager to death is sentenced. And three men accused of an accidental shooting accept plea deals. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kazarow. People are in custody for the death of a child in Lacrosse. According to the city of Lacrosse, back in September, Lacrosse PD responded to a child who was not breathing and was determined to be deceased. After an investigation, 37-year-old LaVon Liggins and 33-year-old Brittany Basley were arrested and charged with neglecting a child causing death. This is an active investigation. The victim's relationship to Liggins and Basley has not yet been released. The man convicted of killing a teenager and injuring four others has been sentenced to 20 years in prison. In July 2022, now 54-year-old Nicolay Mew stabbed five people who were tubing in Apple River, killing 17-year-old Isaac Schumann. According to witness testimony, Mew was looking for a friend's phone when Schumann's group began taunting him. Today in court, a St. Croix County judge sentenced Mew to 20 years in prison for charges of reckless homicide, reckless endangerment, and battery. These crimes are serious. They mean that Mr. Mew did not think about the consequences of his behavior and that he showed utter disregard for life when he stabbed five people. Unlike Mew has already spent just over two years in jail. That credit will apply toward the sentence. The Eau Claire DA's office says an officer's action and actions in an officer involved shooting were justified. On May 24th, Officer Down Larson responded to disturbances on the 2200 block of 2nd Street. Larson found two children outside a residence hiding from Thomas Burbank, who was shouting profanities from a second story balcony. After Larson identified herself, Burbank pointed his revolver in her direction, prompting Larson to fire her gun. Burbank retreated into the house but was later arrested. The DA says Larson's decision to fire was valid. Three men who accidentally shot someone while target practicing have accepted plea deals. Kincaid Ewing, Jonathan Ewing, and Dalton Roth all faced seven felony counts of recklessly endangering safety. They were accused of target shooting without a proper backstop in the town of Wilton last summer. Those bullets traveled across a highway and hit a person in the leg. In Monroe County Court today, they all pleaded no contest to two counts, and the other charges were dropped but read in. So they'll begin four-year diversion agreements that include 100 hours of community service. If they fulfill those agreements, their charges may be reduced. Now, a fourth man involved in the incident, Rolando Mendoza, has a plea hearing set for August. Well, we hit a heat index of almost 100 today. It sure did feel like it. Oh, yes. But we do have some potential storms that could cool us down for tomorrow. Yeah, Nicole. we're going to have storms throughout most of the overnight period and throughout most of tomorrow. We're going to have some scattered showers. That's going to keep us right around average. But right now, it is definitely a hot one. It's going to stay hot as we get into those overnight hours to 91 in La Crosse. That heat index definitely got near 100 for much of the area. 97 right now in La Crosse and in the low to mid 90s for much of the area. But for the high temperatures today, for those high heat indices, most of us got just close to 100 degrees. So we'll have a little bit of a cool down for that tomorrow and then it'll come right back up. But today was our hottest day of July. 93 was the official high temperature today. Our lowest temperature was on the first day of July, 52 degrees for Eau Claire. The hottest day was also today. They got up to 90 and then the lowest temperature was also on July 1st, 48 degrees. We have not felt that in a while. We've not felt that in a month, obviously. And then coming up later, we'll have some storms tonight again and into Thursday. That's going to cool off our temperatures a little bit. We won't be getting in the 90s again until we get into Friday and Saturday. But then after that, we are expecting it to cool down for much of the week, so we mm. just have to hold on a little bit longer. Okay, because, yeah, it was that heat that almost made me feel, like, itchy, like it's an impressive itchy. heat. <laughs> yeah, that's like, a good way to describe it. Very it's very everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you, Nicole. You, Nicole. Yeah. After a two-year ban, absentee ballot drop boxes are legal again in Wisconsin. But, as News Aid Now's Allison Fergit tells us live in studio, not every voter in the Cooley region will have access to them for the upcoming August 13th election. Good evening, Allison. Ken and Emily, earlier this July, the Wisconsin Supreme Court overturned a 2022 decision that banned drop boxes. Although they can be used again, some local municipalities are deciding they're better off without them. This has been a roller coaster ride with 
Lots of controversy. Ballot drop boxes, a point of conflict in Wisconsin politics, all starting in 2020. There was significant use of absentee balloting and a significant use of drop boxes for people to return their ballots. Every big election in Wisconsin is nail-bitingly close. In 2020, Joe Biden defeated Donald Trump by just over 20,000 votes. Despite no evidence, Trump claimed election fraud. Drop boxes then get lumped into all of the controversy surrounding the 2020 election. Following concerns from Republicans over election security, Wisconsin's conservative Supreme Court banned the boxes in 2022. But that didn't last long once the court flipped to liberal control. The Wisconsin State Supreme Court then gave the issue of drop boxes a fresh look and decided that they are good to go. Now that they're legal again, some municipalities jumped to reinstate them. So we thought because we have this measure um, in place and available for our voters, we decided to re-implement it once the decision was made. And security is a top priority. Our secure drop box is located on the side of our building. It is locked. There are two people that access that ballot box, and it is also under video surveillance. Trempolo and Onalaska will also use drop boxes this August. Onalaska City Clerk says they reinstated their drop boxes to give voters a secure and convenient option. Writing in a statement to News 8 Now, quote, drop boxes reduce barriers for voters who want to avoid using the postal service due to concerns about delays or due to their work schedules are unable to hand deliver their ballots to the clerk's office. But other municipalities are hesitant. Places like Homan and Toma will accept ballots put in their utility payment drop boxes, but prefer people to to submit them in person. La Crosse and West Salem have drop boxes, but are not using them for the upcoming primary. That could change in November, though. And Viroqua doesn't use them anymore. I think we can add this to the list of issues that have gained um, a, a lot of debate in, in the state of Wisconsin. So if you're unsure if your municipality is using a drop box this August, it's a good idea to contact your local clerk. Ken and Emily? Yeah. All right, Allison, thanks very much. Congressional Democrats and reproductive rights advocates are urging lacrosse voters to support Kamala Harris for president. Lacrosse State Representative Jill Billings hosted a panel today on why a second Trump presidency would put women's reproductive freedom at more risk. That panel, including a Kentucky woman who became pregnant at age 12 after her stepfather raped her, as well as two out-of-state congresswomen on the House Pro-Choice Caucus. Panelists say Kamala Harris is a beacon of hope for women, and they believe Wisconsin voters can ensure America doesn't go backward on women's rights. What Wisconsin has seen in the last two years, the chaos um, after Roe v. Uh, Roe v. Wade was overturned, tells us exactly the kind of chaos and more that we would see if, in fact, Donald Trump got reelected. Ramirez says Republicans didn't put abortion on their RNC platform because they know it's a losing issue for them. Donald Trump has said states should decide abortion laws. His running mate, J.D. Vance, has previously called for a nationwide abortion ban. The Rotary Mobile Clinic is celebrating its second anniversary today in La Crosse by doing what it does best. During their regular rounds at Cameron Park this morning, the team offered checkups to mark the occasion. Over the past two years, officials say the service has provided more than 1,100 patient visits to uninsured and underserved residents. The clinic is open every Wednesday morning at 8.30 in downtown La Crosse. Their stops include the Catholic Charities, the Salvation Army, and local parks. We'll have a link to their full schedule of stops on our digital platforms. So the school year is right around the corner. Yeah, why more people are secondhand shopping for back to school. My name is Joel, I'm a retired naval officer and I live here in Wisconsin. The United States entrusted me to command a destroyer and take it halfway around the world with 305 of my fellow citizens. The responsibility and the authority that goes with the position of being in command is humbling. The thought that you may have to give orders that would put the lives of your crew in danger, that's something that makes you, I think, very appreciative of their service. I took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Donald Trump, he took the same oath I did. I was at home on January 6th. I saw the invasion of the US Capitol. Donald Trump's actions betrayed his oath, and instead what he was doing was trying to protect his own interests, his individual interests, not the interests of the nation. With Donald Trump, my big fear is what comes next. We have to move forward as a country, and that means putting the Trump chapter behind us. 
AB Pack is responsible for the content of this ad. Chevy lets you begin every day fully charged. So you can go farther. And so can your money. Tow with confidence. Plus, stay connected with available OnStar technology. For summer adventures, Chevy's got you. Get 1.9% financing on this 2024 Silverado when you finance with GM Financial. Or get 5750 total value when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Visit hometownchevy.com. I'm Tom Hammes from Max Hawaii Water Conditioning. Have you been concerned about the quality of your water? Many homes in our area face issues like hard water, high iron, city added chlorine, acidity, PFAS, and nitrates in their water. These can cause scale buildup, dry skin, stained laundry, health issues, appliance damage, and more. So don't let bad water affect your home and health. Call us today for a professional evaluation and start enjoying cleaner and safer water for you and your family. That's Maxwell White Water Conditioning, done right. It's the great grill out sale at Hy-Vee this Friday through Sunday. Bacon wrapped sirloins, just $2.99. Whole boneless pork loin, just $1.98 a pound. Chicken breast, just $2.48 a pound. Fresh ground chuck, just $3.99 a pound. Eight ounce pork loin butterfly chops or America's chops, three for just $4. And our special recipe brats or patties, eight for just $12, plus a 16 cent fuel saver. Friday through Sunday at Hy-Vee. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. Kids don't listen for one second. The new school year is approaching. <laughs> okay, now you can listen yeah, yeah. again. While some are shopping online or at the big box stores, many are now heading to resale stores. Yeah, News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall explains why more people are choosing secondhand retailers for their back to school shopping. Jeremy. The resale stores we visited today say they're seeing more people hit the aisles for back to school shopping this year compared to years past. Why? Simple sticker shop on name brand items. According to Jeff Essig, manager of the Good Steward Resale Shop in La Crosse, people are starting back to school shopping in his store in the beginning of the summer. He says more people are opting for secondhand shopping because of rising food and transportation prices. A lot of, a lot of kids, you know, jeans, your polos, um, um, T-shirts, obviously, um, just a, a variety of different items that, uh, you know, we're selling. Coming up at 6, I'll be speaking to a Goodwill rep who tells me why they're seeing secondhand back-to-school shopping increase year after year. Okay, I can't believe it's almost that time of year again. Crazy. <laughs> well, coming up, a fair for healthcare. How one event is helping support those who served our country in just a few minutes. We're going to have that cool down tomorrow with more near average temperatures, but that's mainly going to be because of those scattered thunderstorm chances we're going to have. I'll have all the details going right up. Tell me about like the day that you first found out about Nolan's birth defects. Everything was normal up until my 20 week ultrasound. I learned my baby would not survive. I did not have the choice to do what was right for me and my family. To think that there's a possibility of a national abortion ban scares yeah. me to death. Derek Van Orden and his extreme positions around reproductive freedoms are why I'm running for Congress. I'm Rebecca Cook and I approve this message. Improving your home, improving your life with quality for less. Don't be fooled by free installation or buy this and get that free. Be assured this baloney is the road sign to high prices. Discover what thousands of your friends and neighbors have for over 30 years. The best price today and every day on windows and doors, bathrooms and kitchens, siding and gutters, sunrooms, decks and pergolas. Call or visit the board store for a prompt free estimate. 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse, since 1989. Drive into summer with a new Honda Accord Hybrid, CRV Hybrid, or the all new Civic Hybrid. Take a vacation, staycation, or just a weekend drive with the windows down. Whatever you do, make it epic with Honda. 
the 2024 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Overall EV and Hybrid Brand. So act now. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into the Honda Summer Event. Phones were made to help us connect, yet somehow they've made us less connected. Which is ironic. Don't you think? We try to put our phones down, but we need to pick them up to see the menu. We can't watch something without also watching something else. Ironic. 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 But look, here's a phone company who wants you to use your phone less. That's ironic. Yeah, but in a good way. Let's find us again with Us Mode. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Traffic jam. Ugh. And I'm already late. Join the conversation at Facebook.com slash News8000. Or you can always find us at News8000.com. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. The La Crosse Veteran Affairs Clinic hosted vets and their families for a benefits fair today. Yeah, the event featured 29 service providers, including booths for eligibility, enrollment, mental health, and caregiver support. Organizers say the fair is a great opportunity for veterans to create more personal connections. I think it's more personal. Um, you, it's easy kind of to make a phone call, but there's no personal contact, no face with a name. Um, but here they can interact with other veterans, know what they're going through as well, um, and really kind of build that network within the veteran community. If you missed today's fair, the clinic will be hosting more of them coming up in the fall. Well, scorching might be a good Scor word to use for Dramatic. today's heat. Yeah. Scorching. Well, it's punchy, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it, and it felt that way. Yeah, it, really it sure did. did. Now, there's some radar activity over the Twin Cities right now. Nicole, anything coming our way tonight? Yeah, it's going to make its way to us eventually. In fact, some of those northern counties in our area might see a couple sprinkles as we get through those hours. We do have that level one marginal risk out for severe thunderstorms going into the evening hours and into those overnight hours. But as you can see, with the slight and enhanced off to our west, much of that severe risk is going to be out of our area to the west because as those storms start to track to our way, they're going to get here a little bit later. And without that daytime heating from the sun, they really don't get to have all the strength that they had earlier in the day. So just to see it play out again, we could see some of those isolated uh, storms start to pass through the area as we get into those evening hours. But that main line of storms that's associated with the cold front really isn't going to hit until those overnight hours. Here's around 1 a.m. And then again, you really see them start to weaken overnight. So it's definitely could have some stronger storms with some localized heavy precipitation and maybe a few wind gusts, but it's not going to be too big of a concern for us in our area. 5 a.m. still leaving behind a couple sprinkles and showers. So if you're an early commuter, definitely bring your umbrella with you because you might see a sprinkle out there. Now here's our risk for tomorrow. Tomorrow, again, still in that level one marginal risk out of five. So again, just general thunderstorms as that low pressure system that's associated with the cold front that's passing through tonight is going to make its way over much of the area tomorrow. We'll see again some of those sprinkles in the morning and then that late morning is going to remain pretty dry with all that cloud cover too. It's really going to keep us a lot cooler than we had today. Thank goodness. And then we'll see those scattered thunderstorms start to wrap up a little bit as we get throughout those afternoon hours, getting a little bit more isolated as we get towards supper time into the evening, and then they'll mainly be moved out of the area by 10 p.m. But a very cloudy day with all of those rain chances across most of the area. That rain cooled air is really going to keep us cold, not getting to 90 for any of us tomorrow. I can thankfully say our rain amounts going in for the overnight hours. Much of that heavier rain is again is going to stay off to the west. So we could see anywhere mainly under an inch of rain for most of the area. But then as we get that second shot for Thursday, it's going to be very scattered. So a lot of the rain amounts are pretty hard to forecast because it's so scattered and isolated. But we're really staying around an inch to an inch and a half for much of the area with a few more localized areas depending on the storms that pass over. Now we're going to have a dry weekend after this and then we see another rain chance going into Sunday night and into Monday. So our hot days are really going to be Friday and Saturday. And then after that, we can see a cool down. Here's our forecast again, another couple hot days, and then we're finally going to dip back below normal in La Crosse and Eau Claire. It's a very similar story. You can see those above average temperatures we've had. We're going to spike up again for a few more days, and then we're really hoping to see that cool down as we get for the next week. So and that cool down for that average in August is really sitting in those low 80s, maybe even seeing some 70s in the next week. So our high temperatures are going to look just a little bit warmer than we're seeing for 
for our lows tonight. It's going to be a big drastic change, a much needed change though. I think we could all use a break from it. Tomorrow again, we're going to stay right around average with that cloud cover and with those rain showers. Then after that again, few more days of that heat and humidity with those heat indices rising into the mid to upper 90s, very similar to what we saw today. And then we're going to be getting down. Look, there's even a 70 on there, 79 <laughs> for Thursday. That's a sight so for sore eyes yeah. right there. Oh, yeah, it's going to feel great. Awesome. Looking forward to that for sure. Me too. Thank Thanks, you, Nicole. When we come back, a 30-year-old white, a 30-year White House staffer retires. And what made her career so historic right after this? A Pennsylvania mother is grateful to have more independence now that she's been fitted with a new robotic arm. Hear her story tomorrow on News 8 Now This Morning. Is it time for new windows or doors? Contact the company who has done the research for you. The best windows and doors installed by the best people. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. After long-standing efforts from Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin, three of the four biggest pharmaceutical companies say they're going to start capping the prices of their inhalers. They used to charge families like ours $600 a month for an inhaler, even though they cost less than five bucks to make. So Tammy Baldwin fought the drug companies and she won. Now Hadley's inhaler costs $35 and we're breathing easier. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. I don't work for the drug companies. I work for you. Taco John's potato Olays are the best potatoes on the planet. And now we guarantee your order is served hot and crispy or we'll replace them on the spot. Let's see a french fry guarantee that. Potato Olays, hot, fresh, and crispy guaranteed at Taco John's. The Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. I want that. So make it your best summer ever with Ford. Get your ideal combination of power and capability and experience hands-free highway driving technology with Ford Blue Cruise, available on select vehicles. It's the Make It Ford Summer Sales Event, so make it yours. Make it now. Get up to $7,400 in total savings on a new 2024 Ford F-150, only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Find comfort in your world in a stressless recliner. Take a time out, have a seat, and enjoy a special offer from Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Save in an instant on stressless furniture at Drury's and Fountain. Right now, get a $100 instant rebate for every $1,000 you spend on any qualifying stressless recliner, sofa, or sectional. Designed with the world's most innovative comfort features. Don't wait. It's time for stressless. On sale now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. At Overhead Door Company, we repair any garage door and only install the best. Serving up to 100 miles outside of the Onalaska, Wisconsin area. When you need a door company you can trust with your life, call Overhead Door Company of the Seven Rivers region. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 Now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. The White House executive chef has retired. Christetta Comerford cooked for five commanders in chief and their families over 29 years. The groundbreaking chef was the first woman and person of color to hold the top job in the White House kitchen. Comerford started working at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in 1995 during the Clinton administration. Ten years later, First Lady Laura Bush elevated her to executive chef, where she oversaw all White House cuisine from family meals to state dinners. Comerford emigrated from Manila at 23 years old. She started her career in the U.S. making salads at Chicago hotels. Quite the jump right there. Right. I smell a cookbook coming on. Oh gosh, that's Eat gotta be a bestseller. like a president. Yes. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. gotta be so, yeah, because we got George Bush eating Texan food. Yeah, yeah I gotta Biden be versatile eating, with the Biden East Coast. Biden eating and... Delawarean food. <laughs> I wonder what Delawarean food is. Clinton <laughs> eating Arkansas, Arkansas food. <laughs> How do you say Arkansanian? Uh, Arkans probably not that not way. Not that, that way. We get the idea. Okay, well, happy <laughs> retirement to her, and we'll have another look at tonight's forecast after the break. We've all seen these ads by Senator Baldwin attacking me. She's lying to you, but that's what career politicians do when they get in trouble. The truth? I was born and live in Wisconsin. I've never run a nursing home, and of course I believe seniors should vote. The false attacks are going to keep coming because she has nothing to run on. Her record has failed us on inflation, the border, and crime. I'm Eric Hovde. I approve this message for this reason. 
it's time for change. At Toyota's national sales event, we've got a long lineup of vehicles for summer fun. Like Camry, RAV4, Highlander, BZ4X, Tundra, Corolla Hybrid, Tacoma, Sienna, Corolla Hatchback, Sequoia, Prius Prime, RAV4 Hybrid, Land Cruiser, GR Supra, Toyota Crown, 4 Right now, you can lease a sporty new 2024 Corolla for $219 a month. Or lease a new 2025 Camry for $349 a month. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. A storm damage message from Knutson Roofing. If the roof on your home, business, church, or school was damaged by recent storms, call your local roof repair expert, Knutson Roofing at 715-ROOFING. Trust a local company with thousands of references to fix your roof, not the drive through town companies that show up after a storm. Knutson Roofing, local, dependable. Did we say local? Call 715-ROOFING today. Okay, 500 deluxe garden gnomes. Wow. I only meant to order five. There's not enough money in my account for these. I'm going to get charged. Two things I just can't deal with, overdraft charges and garden gnomes. Mm. But your BMO Smart Advantage checking account gives you an extra day to avoid an overdraft fee. Nice to see a bank cutting people some slack. Well, mistakes happen, and we give you time to correct them. So you don't like gnomes, huh? What about that one? <laughs> that one I like a lot. BMO. T-Mobile coverage in my area is wonderful. We have eight acres and it gives you peace of mind to know that you're gonna have a reliable signal. We enjoy hiking, we enjoy the outdoors. The coverage has been great. And after investing billions to light up our network from big cities to small towns, T-Mobile is America's largest and fastest 5G network. See for yourself. Try T-Mobile's network free for three months. Your phone, our network, no strings. Okay, well, your drive cast tomorrow is going to be a rainy one, a little slippery out there. Make sure your windshield wipers are definitely still working because you're going to need them with rain chances for most of the day. And then after that, we're going to warm up a little bit. Again, I know it's only going to be for two days, though. And then we really we get back down to average and even well below average. So it's going to be a beautiful week after we get through this weekend. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah, it's kind of sudden. <laughs> fun hot roller Happy coaster. August. Happy, hot, August. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right? Happy August. Happy August. Yeah, right? We're wrapping July That's today. right. Forgot about it. Yeah. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. We'll see you at 6.